my life, I'm actually doing what I preach. So here we go. Are you ready? Am I ready? <laughs> All right, so when you reflect upon everything you know or know how to do today, I want you to ask yourself where you learned most of this. And when you ask yourself how you have learned best in your life, was it when you sat in a classroom or was it when you were actively doing something? A 2015 Gallup poll of a half a million students asked these teens to select the word that described how they felt in school. Not surprisingly, more than half said bored. So where should we be in school? When entering the workforce, I got the opportunity to work in a hiking hut in New Hampshire. I had to learn how to cook food for 60 people, order food, hike in and out. When I got into documentary film, I learned how to do interviews and create a compelling story with a camera. When I decided to become a social studies teacher in the mid-90s at Jefferson High School in Los Angeles, I had to learn how to develop lessons. I had to learn for the third time world history and US history. And I asked myself in all these job experiences, how much of this did I learn in high school? During my years at Jefferson, I found success as a teacher. And yet too much was too far removed from the real world of my students. And it felt like for too many of my kids, they were just checking boxes. So the last year I taught there, our senior year, I developed a course that literally asked the kids to go through a hole in the fence to explore their learning. The students excelled. They wrote project proposals. Bar none, they did the most authentic and best work of their high school careers. And it was proof to me that a complete education cannot exist in the classroom alone. A mentor and friend of mine at that time introduced me to big picture learning. Founded in 1995 on a core belief that we all learn better when we are doing, doing in the real world. All big picture students spend two days a week in the greater community working with an adult who shares their interests and their passion. All big picture students contribute to the workplace by completing authentic projects stemming from their inquiry, their interests, and the mentor need. The Learning Through Internship Experience, or LTI as we call it, is the transformational aspect of a big picture education. At the core, students are discovering that they have value, that they can contribute to the real world. Big picture students, through their learning inter through internship, learn how to connect with adults of all backgrounds. Big picture students, through their learning through internship, develop a real sense of agency and purpose and care about what they're doing with their lives in the world. Big picture students, through their learning through internships, learn the hard skills associated with their field of interest, be it technology, be it healthcare, be it early childhood. And big picture students, through their learning through internship, develop the power skills, or as they are sometimes inappropriately called, soft skills of life. Recently, Big Picture Learning did a longitudinal study and found that 74% of our students who graduated and went to college, they graduated in college within five years. The students said that the main reason for their success was their learning through internship. The same study found that 75% of those students who did not enroll in college got full-time jobs in the field associated with their learning through internship. This past September, the newest big picture school opened right here at Vox with 126 ninth grade students. Our ninth grade students spent the year engaged in a course called Real World Learning where every Wednesday, starting the second week of the school year, the students would leave the building and explore their interests and passions further in the community of Philadelphia. These students went to Temple Hospital, they went to Fairmount Horticultural Center, they went to the La Colum Factory, the Waterworks, child care facilities, fitness centers, barbershops, restaurants, law office, and more. All year they worked on earning their learning through internship ticket. This was a series of 10 artifacts and competencies that show they are real world and LTI ready. Getting to this place was messy. Vox asked 14 and 15 year olds to take ownership of their education, their behaviors and their lives. More importantly, they gave them the opportunity to do so. And by year's end, it was through these opportunities that Vox students saw their, absolutely saw their greatest growth. 100% of our students completed their LTI interviews, and by year's end, 95% of our students completed their LTI ticket and their LTI interview. In September, our Vox students, our 10th grade students, will begin their learning through internships in healthcare, in culinary arts, in cosmetology, information technology, veterinary sciences, marine biology, theater, mechanics, marketing, blah, 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 and more. 
So I ask you, I leave one question for you, and that is, is there anybody out there interested in becoming a mentor? Thank you.